Welcome back to this next section of building your first game in Hacks Flixel. In the first kind of section, we put together our player, some keyboard controls um, to move left, right, and jump, and to have some collisions on the edge of the camera. So now in this kind of set of videos, we're going to focus on putting a simple level together. And um, we're going to use this tool called Tiled Map Editor. I'm sure you can see in this tab. If you go ahead and Google that, um, you can either click on the first link or the third link. It doesn't really matter as long as we get to the itch page somehow. So go to download at itch, um, then wait for that to load. Hit the download now. And if you want to donate, go ahead and donate. Um, I already donate to this person through Patreon, so I'm going to hit no thanks. Pick your relevant platform. I'm using a Mac, so I've already clicked Mac. And then once that's downloaded, um, go ahead and open it up. And for a Mac, you might see this error. So say tiled Mac cannot be opened because developers not verified. To fix this, go to your system preferences, go to security and privacy, and hit open anyway. And that should work. So when you open that up, it should look like this. What we're going to do is create a new map. So hit this button here. And make sure you have these settings correct. So orthogonal. Base64 left up. This is quite important because Flixel kind of has left up by default. So you want to keep this there or, or, the, the, or the coordinates won't really work. So set it to 16 by 16. As you can see, I've done this already. So this is experimented. Um, I've kind of set it like this because the player has, has this. Um, so the player is 48 by 32. I think, no, 32 by 48. And there's a multiples of 16. We want to have 1280 by 720. So make sure your width is 80 tiles and your height is 45. Let's call this um, level one. And I'm gonna put it, so I've already run this to test, so I'm gonna put it inside um, the game. So whatever you call the game, I think I've called it uh, game down template. Put it inside the assets data section, okay? So save, and here is what it looked like. Um, I'm running in dark mode, so it will look a bit darker than yours maybe, but um, I'm using control and mouse wall to, to zoom in and out. What we're going to do, I can't actually see because my face is covering the camera, but what we're going to do first is, um, let's get rid of this layer, because we're going to use a new thing called object layer. So we're not going to focus on tiles or tile sets in this video, we'll just focus on objects. So we'll call one called platforms, and we'll make another one called helpers. Um, spelling here, help. Oh. Uh, cool. Okay, now let's go ahead and import our platform. So first, let me move this out of the way so I can see what I'm doing. Hit new tile set. Um, let's call it level assets. Make sure you have a collection of images selected. You might just have this. Um, change it to that. Hit save as and put it in the exact same place. So level one, level assets. Save. And now let's add our let's add our platform from this is from a different project. Let me put that, let me find where that is. Game jam template, assets, images, platform, bingo. Add that here. We've made our tile set, so remember to save. If there's an asterisk here, it means you haven't saved, of course. So hit save, hit save here. And now what I've noticed, right? So I'm gonna go into helpers and make a quick helper of the general kind of player size. So I'm gonna grab this, um, just make anything at the moment. And then I think the player is, uh, let me double check. Okay, 32 by 48. Let's go back and tiled. Do width 32 by 48. Okay, so that's, click on this one to move the player. So that's about this, right? I've noticed the player jumps three times their height, I think. Let's double check that actually. I think three times their height. So here's a player, one, two, okay, about four times their height, right? So they'll jump one, two, three, four. So it's good to have the platform a bit lower so they can jump onto it. So let's have a platform. Uh, place that. Sorry, I'm not I'm not talking much about how tiles works. This isn't a tile tutorial. I might do that some point later, but let's just place some platforms here. So put that one here. Um, actually, let's move it a bit towards the right. I'm going to try and snap it to the grid somewhat. About here, let's say. Um, and then we'll put another one. Let's grab this player to figure out how high they're actually going to jump. So players here, the player will jump one, 
two, three. So we can put another one about here. Let's grab the platform layer, grab the platform, stick it about here. Perfect. Cool. Let's see how close that is. There we go. So this is it. This is our kind of first basic level. Basic level, sorry. Player will run, jump, run, jump again. I think I made this one a bit too high, but we'll find out. All right. So now after you save that, let's go back into the code and see what we've done. So into the data section, get rid of this. We don't need it anymore. We should have two. One with the actual level and one with the assets. So as you can see, these are just basic XML files. Um, and now what we're going to have to do is try and get Flixel to, to read this and put it into the level. So we just kind of want the coordinates. We don't really need a lot of this other stuff, but yeah. And in this, these are the settings. I'm sorry, the assets, the tile, the tile thing we built. Um, TSX is kind of TypeScript, JSX. You can change this to XML if you want, if you care about syntax highlighting, but I'm not too fussed. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and put some of this code into our game. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.